so hello as you saw we have some new ways to organize our art bag um, I'm planning to get a similar case as what you saw me put the pens into for my pencils uh, it'll be a different color so I know it's my pencils versus my pens um, this is gonna make my art case a little crowded but we'll work around it and we also have some new brushes and this one I'm going to this one's very stiff and it's a little uneven so I'm going to see if I can get dimple, dimpling with this brush um, our photograph shows dimpling on our orange so I want to try and see if we're going to get some dimpling using this particular brush uh, probably not but we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna give it a shot I do have some things well, kind of Kinda. <sighs> it's a very stiff brush, which is why I wanted to give it a a shot. But I think I'm getting more rounded circles from the brush. My husband took me to Joanne, Joanne's, to uh, try to get some brushes. I was really kind of disappointed in their selection, but that's fine. Just wanted to get a few more things to try out. Yeah, that's not really doing much of anything. It's making circles, not really the little dimples. If you look on here, that orange has some textury, dimply things going on. I'm not getting it on this. So this is not going to work for what I thought it would. It might work for something else, though. Or maybe, I wonder if I could play around with how much denseness there is in the bristles and go from there. We'll have to see. But I do want to play with some of the other ones that I got. I'm testing around on um, stiffness. Like these two are fairly stiff. This one is stiffer than this one for some reason. But they're the same brush. And then the other two I have. Oh, this one's a little softer but still stiff. And then there's uh, the rounded one that I now have to find. I thought the, the white ends would make it easier for me to find them. He's not rounded though, but as you can see, he's also got that soft end. So i um, going to play around with these a little bit as we do a little bit more work today. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. And I do have something to talk about out a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to get into the real nitty-gritty details, but um, I do want to talk about um, some recent things with my son because um, it was distressing. <laughs> and we'll go with distressing. At least initially it was distressing. So when we moved here a few years ago, quite a few years ago, actually, um, not quite a few, two years ago, are we on our second or third lease? Third, I think, which means about two and a half years ago, because we would have signed one lease when we moved in and another lease for our second year. And, um, now we've just recently signed another lease just this past summer I do think this is picking up nicely I like this I like this one okay anyway but when we first moved out here one of the things of course that I had to check for was a doctor for my son 
we aren't we aren't like in another state or anything from his previous doctor but it is quite a drive and while the previous doctor was doing some um doing most of the visits via like zoom or you know that kind of thing we didn't actually have to go into the office we still had to go in the office like a minimum of twice a year when it first started we had to go in closer to um three or four times a year it had to be three times a year anyway so it still was a long drive we just could uh we just weren't doing this as much because we could do most of his appointments over the phone which i really appreciated however this year they sent us a notice saying that they were no longer going to be taking medicaid which is my son's um Well, let me back up. So when we first moved out here, we started looking for another place because, I mean, it's still a long drive, right? We, I couldn't, this was so aggravating. I couldn't find anybody in the local area that was taking adults with autism and who took Medicaid down here, at least not initially. Now, there were a few, most, I should say, most of the places were, would only take children, which boggles my mind. Um, an aut autistic child is going to grow up to be an autistic adult. Aut autism does not go away. It's, it's, you can make it so that the person with the autism can function better, you can help make their lives better, make it easier for them. That way, you can help give them ways to cope things like that but the autism is doesn't go away they will always be autistic it is not curable it is a neurological primarily genetic disease that just doesn't go away let's look at them I know, you guys are probably going, why are you keep doing that? It doesn't look any different. Trust me, I see a difference. It is deepening this orange, which is what I wanted to do. So, uh, and the, <sighs> now there were a few places, very few, that did take adults that did accept the Medicare but they were backed up for years. I mean, literally years. Uh, we looked into the Emory Center. Emory apparently has a very good program. So got good that they had like a three year waiting list or something like that. It was insane. So most of the places that had adults that would take adults didn't have room for adults at the time that we moved. So we just stuck it out. I mean, like I said, it was a long drive to go to the old doctor. But the old doctor um, was willing to do most of the stuff, you know, on a call. And um, that was helpful to us. So we went ahead and stuck with that. And we were like, great, that, that's, that works out great for us. Thank you. Then this year, I got a notice. I got a notice right before con. God damn it, this didn't piss me off. But I got a notice right before con, and that notice was that they were going to stop taking um, um, Medicaid, which is my son's primary insurance. I mean, well, I should say, I shouldn't say primary. It's his only insurance. And they told us only two months before they were gonna stop. So, of course, having done that previous 
test, I mean, t previous search, I panicked. I panicked. Uh, we got it uh, just before con, a week or two before con, and they were going to stop taking November 1st. And I was just like, are you guys out of your fucking minds? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I was. Out of your fucking minds. You're expecting people to be able to find um, doctors in the space of six weeks. A little give or take. And that's not going to be easy. I already knew that that wasn't going to be easy. And then, of course, we're in the middle of getting ready for con. So I'm like, that's, this is really bad timing. It's going to take, you guys should have given more notice. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. It was done. This, this is what they were doing. This was the warning they gave us. Uh, and over with. So we got through con. I enjoyed con, fortunately. Um, and then I had to start hunting again. I did do a little bit of looking before we actually went to con because, um, I wanted to see if it was as bad out there, but I dropped it pretty quickly because I got frustrated. And like I said, we were trying to just get ourselves ready for to do con. And that's where I wanted to focus was con for the moment. And I was just really hoping we were gonna have um, time to figure this out after con and I had no idea if we would I tried not to wait too long after con because I knew we were looking at um, not having a lot of time to get stuff done and uh to my surprise, it was actually a little easier this when we this year. I am not sure what changed. But uh, I did some digging with some other websites. Uh, I did some digging on the Social Security website and I found a portal. For my local area and um that's looking kind of pinkish orange it's weird and i tried a few on there and a couple of them i tried i tried to keep it local i didn't want us i mean there was a place apparently an hour away i don't know what happened with this one guy it had a, I didn't realize until later that this pl one place had a lot of bad reviews. And he took down my son's social security number to s check to see if he was on the social security database. And then I never heard from them again. And when I went to check the reviews, because I was like, why am I never hearing from this guy again? Um, the reviews were pretty damn bad. So I'm kind of glad I didn't hear from him a bit again. And the only other place I initially found was like an hour's drive away. And I was like, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, unless we absolutely have to, we don't want to do that. We, we really don't want to do that. <laughs> an hour is a long time, folks. It's, it's huge. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is huge. And uh, anyway, so... Um, I went back to checking this site. This site seemed to be the best place to go for um, 
info. And I think I got it, I'm pretty sure I got it off the SSA. Um, there's a link on the social security site. Off the social security site? Anyway. And so I started plowing through those, looking for... Um, using the using the the filters to try to find what I was looking for and I called the first place and it was oh we're we we only do like um what is it residency so that was a no <laughs> that was a, that was a no uh I, I'm pretty pretty set against having my son go into a residency and the reasons are is because I remember when a lot of these residencies were um, investigated and uh, the conditions and the way these kids were treated was absolutely appalling now mind you that was years ago I mean, you know, decades ago. I was I was in California at the time that I did that. But I mean, it just really set a bad taste in my mouth about putting my son in any kind of residency. That that just wasn't going to happen. He's high functioning enough that he can live at home and um he doesn't need any he doesn't need a nurse here. He doesn't need he doesn't need anything like that. So he functions enough that that we can keep him home. And I figured as long as we can keep him home, we're keeping him home. <laughs> that was just it. We're not we're not doing all of this other stuff. So anyway, but the second one. Now you guys, I understand too. The other thing is, this whole time, I am practically in tears. Because, I mean, I looked for a while when I previously looked. And I was pretty damn certain that my kid was going to end up without a doctor. And, um... We were going to have to have a... He was going to go off his meds. Which isn't just stressful for us. It is stressful for him. He really does not like being off his meds. He doesn't like the way he feels off of his meds. And um, so, yeah, this was a big, huge... Uh, I really felt like the universe was going, okay, okay, you're on your own. <laughs> Good luck with that. But we did finally find someone uh, who took adults, took Medicaid, and had openings. I practically fell apart on the phone with this poor woman, talking to her, telling her, yeah, just we'd been searching, and when we had moved into the area, um, obviously we didn't find them and we were just really stressed out about making sure my son had a doctor and could get his medication. Don't, those were the, I mean, you know, before I continue, I am very happy with these new brushes. I now know which brushes that I want to, well, I know some of the brushes that I'm going to want to look at if any next time. Flat shader, bright shader and filbert I need some more filberts I think proper filberts and then I can clean out the shit ton of brushes that I kind of using now that don't necessarily work <laughs> they're not horrible 
some of them, most of them, but um, it'll be nice to have some other stuff. So as I was saying, so we just had our first appointment with this new doctor. And um, I don't want to get into everything. It was a very overwhelming appointment. Some of it is very personal and private, I think. Um, but there's a couple of things that are going to be happening with my son. Um, I don't want to get into specifics of it, but he is going to be changing medications. His current medication apparently worked when he was a kid. But now he's on such a heavy dose that we're looking at um, some detrimental side effects. So he's going to be changing medications, for starters. Know that's not a huge difference and I'm not sure how much of you guys can see but from what I can see I really like that I really like that all right we're gonna futz around with our orange some more 
<laughs> because it, you know, fussy. And uh, going to talk a bit about today. We are in our second session. So today we tried to go and get the boys' medications filled. Actually, this is the color I was looking for before. Um, we were trying to get the boys' medications filled, and it turns out that one of the one of the um, meds has to be done on special paper. It, it has to be something so it can't be um, altered. And the doctor didn't put it on that paper. So my son is very upset about it, but he has to wait a little longer for the meds. On the plus side, they are, when they when they do fill it, they're gonna call the doctor and verify the medication tomorrow, Monday. I'm filming on Sunday night. They're gonna verify the medication tomorrow, and um, when they do that. They are going to, we can go ahead and have them um, mail the medication to us, which I am thankful for, because Boyo is very upset. He's very upset about not having his medication, which I can understand. He's been off of it for a few days, and... He's anxious to try this new one. I think he's just anxious to be on something. <laughs> um, if you have an autistic kid and you take them off their routines or whatever, it really does bother them. So he is very, very bothered. <sighs> By, um not having this medication. Very bothered. But I did tell him that when it comes, when we finally get it mailed and everything, okay, that's not going to work. Um, when they finally mail it and everything, it should only take a couple days to get here. So, Hopefully by the middle of the week. Hopefully by the time you see this, he will have his medication. If not, he'll have it the next day, hopefully. feeling so off to me. I'm probably just being a perfectionist. Oh, I guess... I guess they don't look that different. This stuff up here at the top is so amazing. <laughs> I'm so proud of that. Everybody out there going, why you keep doing citrus, Tommy? I was so successful the first time. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm aware. I should do different shit. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting that confidence. Getting ready to do the things.
will say one thing I've been finding about the art. I don't even know what to call this. It's it's not painting. I'm not using markers. I'm not using pastels. I mean, I don't. It's just a multimedia art, I guess. Anyway, one thing that I have said, am noticing particularly this week. This week was like just chaotic from the get-go. We had a lot going on. And um, being able to do this, it turns out is very grounding. It's very calming. It's very soothing. And but I noticed that I'm starting to stress out a little bit. One of the things I want to do is just come and work on my art. I don't know what's going to happen this next week. We have another busy, not nearly as chaotic, but we have another busy week coming up. At least for me and my son and my granddaughter is here this weekend. So this whole upcoming week, they're out of school. So, um, yeah, we're looking at it being just a little, not chaotic so much, but there are things that we need to do, and we are going to be working on some of those things. I'm just doing some shading to get some dimension, some roundness. I don't want to do too much following the doing the image a little bit but you want the ed outer edges a little darker to imply 3D-ness I'm not sure how that's working out for me <laughs> I'm really not I really hope you guys can see it a little bit. I really like what it did to the edges of the leaves. I'm going to have to keep in mind doing that for other, other projects because that came out really cool. All right. find the other brush I have like this. I bought two sets so I should have another brush exactly like this downstairs. I don't recall myself using it much but it's not up here and it's perfect for working with some of this small smaller areas that I'm trying to get into you know.
that's going to be about it for this session. Thank you for joining me, and I hope we will see you again soon. Um, noticing a lot of people are coming on and not really sticking around for very long. I hope you will try to stick around for the um, sessions a little bit longer and get to the end and go ahead and do the whole YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share, all of that stuff. We'd really appreciate it appreciate that. And in the meantime, I will see you later.